I'd um, love to see it. Uh, it's going to be a good battle tonight. The refs are ready. I see them jumping from the explosion today. So everybody's into the game. Great atmosphere. Opening tip can, won by Marlon Johnson, controlled by the Edmonton Stingers. Edmonton heading screen right, wearing the Navy uniforms with the gold trim. Saskatchewan wearing their alternate tricolored uniforms here at home. First shot of the game put up by Matthew Kamba. That one comes up short. Jordy Chamanga there for the rebound for Saskatchewan. And that ball he snatched out of the air, it is a beautiful official game ball of the CBL brought to us by Spalding. First Saskatchewan possession of the night. Just underway. Malik Ben Levy snaps it to the corner. Open look. Anthony Tika Keeley just a little bit long on the first Rattler shot of the night. That's all right. Good possession, though. I like that. Good rotation. Good find by Ben Levy. Three shots in the game, three misses. Still looking for our first points. Just underway from Saskatoon in this play in game. Devontae Bandu picks up the dribble. Back up high to Tony Carr. Simon Hyatt, Rob Lovelace, Heather Morrison with you as we have been all season long. Another look from outside. This one comes up a little bit short. Well, he splits the difference between those two shots. He'll be money from here on out. Yeah, I hope so, yeah. A little bit off on that. Really flat, no rotation on that shot there. So maybe a little bit of nerves by the young guy there. But, uh, um, yeah, he's open there and good find by the guy so far. Former Rattler Marlon Johnson puts up a high arcing shot that, well, quite frankly, he was lucky to get backboard on. Yeah, both guys, both teams here have some shots looking a bit off. Tony Carr puts it up from distance, Ooh. and that's an air ball. Well, I don't know if you would suspect Tony Carr is feeling any playoff jitters. I would doubt it, but uh, both teams so far a little bit shaky out of the gate. A little bit off, a little bit off, though. Yeah, they'll shake this off here. A few minutes in, kind of usually the start. They'll, they'll walk in here. Someone needs to get something going to the hoop. Burrell will pick up the dribble. He'll put up the long shot with a hand in his face. A good look at it there. Can't get it to go, however. So about a minute and 45 seconds into this one. Still looking for our first point. Devontae Bandu gets up into the air. Last second ditch. Tiga Keeley there to receive it. Wisely kicks it back up high. Still time. Malik Ben Levy gets it over. Well, he'll put it up from the other side. Will Tiga Keeley a little bit long once again this time. Knocked out of bounds. Ball will stay with the Rattlers. He tried the other side this time. Still a bit flat, you know, in the shot there. A little bit of a hitch there. So, but the guys are fighting him. He just got to, you know, build that confidence, knock it down. You just need to see one go in. Two minutes into this one. Rattler's ball on the baseline. Tony Carr bounces it in for Jordy Chamanga. He snaps it across from Malik Ben Levy. He spins his way through and he can't finish. Well, geez, an open look at it there. Easy take. You expect Malik Ben Levy to make about 99.9% .9 of those. He can't finish. Still no points in this one. And here's some of Ben Levy's frustration as he made his way down the floor. Which team will break the seal? Burrell picks up the dribble. He gets it back for Baker. Burrell gets up into the air. Float shot won't go. Another miss. Second chance for Burrell. Another miss. Devontae Bandu with a loose ball. Malik Ben Levy. There's the first points of the game on a big dunk for Malik Ben Levy. There we go. Shots are falling down. Good find by Bandu. Good throw down by Ben Levy. So it's okay. Let's get a score here. High percentage shot there exactly. for Malik. Jordan Baker, great player all season long, gets up into the air. Marlon Johnson there to receive the pass down low. Baker gets it back. He puts it up from up top. That one no good. Tony Carr able to come away with it. He'll push in the other direction for Saskatchewan. Leading 2-0 early. Lob pass ahead for Jordy Chamunga off the glass. That one won't go. Unfortunate, though, but great seal there, though, by, yeah. by Chamunga. Deca Peter McNeely controls for the Edmonton Stingers. Still looking for their first points. Jordan Baker directing traffic down low. He gets it back up high for Peter McNeely. He'll put it up from distance. That one won't go. Tony Carr and Jordy Chamunga teammates battle each other for the loose ball. It's Tony Carr who comes away with it. Carr controls. He'll put it up from distance. Tony Carr hits for three. And we've got a foul down low. I believe it came after the basket. Yeah, the basket Baker, will count. Yeah, Baker and Chaminga were kind of battling there, trying to fight for position. And I think Baker might have just slipped, but as he slipped, he kind of pushed Chaminga down as well. So um, it's going to be a good battle between those two there, right? So yeah, a little bit of a, I don't know if it was a slip or a fall or whatever, but 
Bruce Massey in for his first shift for the Saskatchewan Rattlers. He replaces Anthony T. Gakili, who had three straight misses to start the game. Ben Levy up high. Also into the game for Edmonton is Brody Clark wearing number 14. His first shift in the night. Tony Carr takes it in strong. Can't get it to go, but will head to the free throw line. Yeah, he's been doing that so well as of late. You know, just being able to kind of, you know, hesitate, get it in the heart of the defense, and just attack these smaller guards. Jamal Jones in. Adika Peter McNeely out for the Edmonton Stingers as Tony Carr heads to the free throw line. Carr. Ended up the regular season averaging just under 20 points a game. Yeah, there's another look at that beautiful Spalding basketball, the official ball of the Canadian Elite Basketball League. Carr misses the front end. 81% free throw shooter on the season is the Philadelphia native. Chance to give his Rattlers an early 6-0 lead. Able to do so. So back on the Stingers looking for their first points of the night still as we approach four minutes played in the game. Well, that's a good way to go. I told you, a high percentage shot is that dunk. Trishan, Trishan Burrell wow. carves his way through an impressive player, still relatively early in his Edmonton Stingers career, gets the Stingers on the board. My goodness, that yeah. was like a sneaky throwdown. Yeah. That was nice. Man. Jordy Chamunga spins his way through, gets the friendly roll. <laughs> Lead back up to 6-4 Saskatchewan. Jordan Baker again playing on a bit of a gimpy leg, but has played all the way here to start. And now a three-pointer from the corner. Matthew Kamba buries it, pulls the Stingers back within three. Yeah, and then have a hand in that guy's face. He's uh, one of their top three-point shooters. Defonte Bang! And then the other way. Got to extend. They got to get a hand in this guy's face, Absolutely. right? Absolutely. He's our three point, top three point shooter of the leagues. I'd say the Clark. best three point shooter. Nice spin around move. Well, now the baskets are starting to fall on both ends. I kind of had that feeling that once those first few shots fell, stop thinking about the fact that this is a playoff game, lose, and you go home and now just can play basketball. Rattler's lead is four. Rattler's lead is seven. Tony Carr. Picking up the dribble, Kamba. He gets it back down low. Good ball movement. Kamba just kind of lost the handle. He was looking like he thought he got fouled. Looked like he just lost control of it. So back comes Saskatchewan, currently doubling up the Stingers. 14-7, 4.20 to go, first quarter. Carr thought about it and picks it up. High arcing shot. That one won't go. Loose ball batted around. Coming away with it is Kamba. On the run goes Clark. Now we'll get the first Rattlers foul of the game. Go on Bruce Massey. With that 4-10 to go first quarter. 14-7 is our score. We're going to head in to the media timeout. You're watching live Canadian Elite Basketball League action on CBC Sports. CBC. Landmark Cinemas for movie lovers. Back inside the snake pit. Well, a bit of a sluggish start to this one, but an entertaining last couple of minutes. Rattlers will open up a 14-7 lead, make it 14-8 as Brody Clark heads to the free throw line. Clark, native of Toronto, six foot seven forward. Coming off the bench. Able to pull the Stingers within five. 4-10 to go. Coming out of the media timeout here. First quarter in this play-in game in Saskatoon. Winner advances to the CBL playoffs quarterfinals. Loser sees their season come to an end. Malik Ben Levy doesn't want that to happen. He buries it from the corner. Yeah, I don't know. Like uh, Stingers came out in a 1 2 2 zone there, kind of dropped back. But if they want to play that zone, they got to be able to get back and rotate fast off these, these great three point shooters of the Rattlers. Burrell loses the handle on his way through. Devontae Bandu looking to take it all the way. And one, Devontae Bandu. Great hustle play here by Devontae. Takes on two Edmonton Stingers, gets it to go, and heads to the free throw line. 
Bandu, third leading scorer for the Saskatchewan Rattlers team. Comes in tonight averaging 16 points per game on the season, 72% free throw shooter. Gives the Rattlers the double digit advantage with the basket and the free throw. So the lead now 11 for the Snakes. Brody Clark looking to attack against Chamanga. He picks up the dribble, might have dragged the foot. He gets it over for the long distance shot. That one won't drop for Burrell. Second chance, Marlon Johnson looking to push his way in. He snaps it back up high. This is Jones putting up the high arcing shot. That one won't go. Loose ball, another chance for Edmonton. Can't hit the shots, but they're getting plenty of looks. And now former Rattler Marlon Johnson buries it from the corner. So back to a single digit Saskatchewan Rattlers lead. Just under three minutes to go, first quarter. This is Bruce Massey looking for his first points. Can't find him, so kicks it back up high for Tony Carr. Carr perhaps looking to go one-on-one. -on -one. Again, maybe taking advantage of that zone defense. Jordy Chamanga underneath there to clean it up. Yeah, those two have been working so well together yeah. there, right? So then this Carr as well, too. He knows that double's coming as he turns that shoulder, but just, just knows where Chamanga is. Jamal Jones had an open look at it. Just jams the front of the rim on a relatively easy look after a nice move. Rattlers come away with it, leading by 10, looking to make it more. Took them a couple of minutes to break the seal on the score sheet, but when they did, man oh man, the Rattlers have been lighting it up. Here they lose possession. Bandu gets it knocked away. Looking to take it all the way in is Burrell. He gets back outside instead, leads to the long take. That one won't drop for Adika Peter McNeilia. Edmonton's shooting woes continue. Yeah, not the, not the best three-point shooting team, but I thought uh, Marlon had a chance to take on the inside. He kind of gave it up. Yeah, you're right. Vontae Bandu, I think it was a pass to Jordi Chamanga. Either way, it ends up in his hands, and he gets it to drop. Strong start to the game, Jordi Chamanga. Both the bigs playing well here out of the gate for Saskatchewan. He and Malik Ben-Levy. Jamal Jones, Adika Peter McNeely. Again, an open look for Marlon Johnson. He takes a look down at his feet. Can't hit the long-distance shot. So back comes Saskatchewan, once again doubling up the visiting Stingers at 24-12. Bandu controls, gets the screen from Tony Carr. Now a little bit of a tangle there up at the top of the key. Devontae Bandu, hard pass, pretty close to Malik Ben-Levy. And then we'll get a foul called against Jamal Jones. Yeah, there's a little bit of a rough possession there. Yeah. Like I said, like poor Bandu. I, I, I know he's a, he's a great playmaker as well, but I just think he's better with this group and this team to be coming off the screens, letting just Carr handle the ball in situations, and then, you know, getting him open looks, right? There's a couple now possessions with him there. There's kind of a couple turnovers, bad possessions, right? So I feel like for this squad and this team, it's, it's not his game right now. Substitutions on both sides. Michael Nuga, who's become a bit of a spark plug for this Rattlers team into the game. Nice touch there for Bruce Massey. He gets it to drop. DeAndre Bernard also in for Saskatchewan. Jordan Baker, Matthew Kamba, DeMarco Dickerson in for Edmonton. First shift of the game for Dickerson. Under a minute to go first quarter. Baker with that hesitation shot. He can't get it to go. Now Saskatchewan in the other direction. Just over 30 seconds to go first quarter. Nuga gets it into the hands of Bernard. Quick take for Bruce Massey for three. Saskatchewan trying to salt this one away early. They lead by 17, 20 seconds to go first quarter. Yeah, like I love the movement, love the flow. Yeah, like I said, when these guys are limiting the turnovers, sharing the ball, these guys are tough to beat. Shot clock, game clock, virtually identical at this point. So Edmund can pr pretty much hold for the last one. Quick take instead for Dickerson. So now Saskatchewan, unfortunately, just a little bit too short. Not a bad look at it from three quarters. Court for Michael Nuga. Wouldn't have counted anyway. A record-setting first quarter of playoff basketball for the CEBL. The largest first quarter lead in CEBL history. 17 points for Saskatchewan. Now make it 19 with quick points out of the gate for Tony Carr. Let's send it down to Heather Morrison. Thanks, Simon. Yeah, the coaches you have to try to motivate their team. I don't think Coach Hall is going to be any much more happy than he was just between quarters there. He has said to his team, you know, you got to get some stops here, guys. you got to play defense. 
there may have been a clipboard thrown. I've never seen Coach Dean Demopoulos so calm, on the other hand, and he said, hey, guys, no shortcuts. Just keep putting up the points. Back to you, Simon. Thanks very much, Heather. Yeah, easy to easy to keep your cool when you're up by uh, 17 at the break and then 19, as I mentioned, with the basket for Tony Carr. Jordan Baker cut it down to 18 as he heads to the free throw line. We told you about the record in the Canadian Elite Basketball League. Biggest advantage for a team after one quarter of play in CBL playoffs history. Lowest scoring quarter. Was that, Rob, in Edmonton Stingers history? Yeah, and the Stinger ever in a playoff game, right? The previous was 13, Niagara River Lions versus Hamilton Honey Badgers. That was 28-15, so that was the 2020 CBL Summer Series. Block shot there, some good defense for Edmonton Stingers. They'll go on the run. Contact, foul going to go against Michael Nuga of the Rattlers as Clark was driving. 31-13, get another look at it here. You can see, or pardon me, it looks like that was, uh, was that T. Keeley getting the foul? That was, yep. Pardon me. Fonte Bandu going to come into the game. Give Tony Carr what will likely be a quick rest as Brody Clark heads to the free throw line. Tony Carr with his nine points exits. Devontae Bandu with six. His teammate Jordy Chamanga also with six. Malik Ben Levy with five. So Rattler's doing a good job of distributing the scoring, as are the Edmonton Stingers. They just haven't been able to pile up as many points. Brody Clark leading the way with his four points. That's Clark getting a hand on it, following the miss, unable to grab it. So back over to the Saskatchewan Rattlers. Just about a minute into the second quarter of play in Saskatoon, Simon Hyatt, Rob Lovelace, Heather Morrison with you tonight for some playoff basketball, CEBL style. Great to have you along for the ride tonight. Game one of a playoff doubleheader tonight. Game two will get going around 8.30 Saskatoon time. Between Fraser Valley and Guelph, good defensive play there by Michael Nuga, and it's going to be Rattler's ball. Yeah, he's always bringing the energy each and every yeah. night, Michael Nuga. Great to see. Absolutely. Jordy Chamunga back in for Saskatchewan. Yeah, I'd like to see here Massey initiate the offense out of this one here. Again, like last time, I, I'm going to re keep repeating myself, but again, that was Bandu kind of setting up the offense there. And just didn't, the see flow didn't seem right. Michael Nuga looking to oh. attack. Great little hesitation move. Let's the man go by. Leads to the AZ land. The lead 19 for Saskatchewan, 8.33 to go second quarter. Dickerson gets up into the air. He launches that one a little bit long. Edmonton's really struggling to shoot. We're going to get a foul here as Clark gets tangled up with Bandu. They both end up on the floor. Clark wanted the tie-up, but I think it was a good call. It looked like he went over the top of Bandu. He did, yeah. You can kind of tell there, right? He's kind of reached over top there and got a little bit of the neck and the head there. Yeah. <laughs> <So>. <laughs> Marlon Johnson back in for Edmonton. 8.27 to go, second quarter of play from Saskatoon. All Rattlers here in the early going as, as they look to punch their ticket to Ottawa. Couple of steps to go to make that happen. Anthony Tigakili again trying to hit that shot from the corner, struggling. Lucky to keep it alive was Adika Peter McNeely. Almost fell out of bounds with the ball, but able to keep it going. Long shot, comes up short. That's Burrell on the miss. So Nuga going to go on the run once again, all the way through. Michael Nuga scoops it up and in. Yeah, he's just so quick, so explosive. Good body control to finish that underneath. Lead now 21 for the Snakes. Burrell controls. Now Peter McNeely. Burrell will put it up. Tiga Keeley comes over to pick him up, but nice touch from distance for Trasan Burrell. Yeah, if the Stingers only get back in the game, that's the guy that can fill it up yeah. quickly and get them back. Burrell's only played three games for Edmonton coming into this one. Miss for the Rattlers. Johnson comes on the run. McNeely out of control. Going to get a foul called against Saskatchewan. Unfortunately for that official, he made the call standing right beside Dean Demopoulos, who's going to let him know what he thinks about it. Man, it really looked like Peter McNeely just out of control in that situation. Tough foul call there against the Rattlers. 
the ref might just have a bad angle. I cannot see, like, the ball just slipped out of his hand there. But. Malik Benlevy in for Saskatchewan. Anthony Tiga Keeley out. Hey, tune in to CEDL Weekly with host Sean Woodley for chatter about Canada's biggest pro sports league and hear from players, coaches, and personalities who make the CEDL a new basketball experience. Visit CEDL Plus and watch the latest episode today. Crowd here at the Snake Pit as they've done all season, making a ton of noise. Doesn't disrupt the free throw shooting. Edmonton now within 16 points. A little bit sloppy on the pass there. A good read by Jordan Baker. Edmonton with numbers in the other direction leads to two more. Edmonton now within 14 as Jones gets the lay-in. Yeah, was the first time they kind of broke this uh, press. It was really good. That's all they got to do is get it over, make a couple passes, and just get moving. And do controls for Saskatchewan. He's going to put it up from distance. That one rattles, won't drop. Jordy Chamanga gets his hands on it. Pardon me, Malik Van Levy. I was being screened by Tony Carr there. As he gets ready to check into the game. Carr will come in. Matthew Kamba also in for the Stingers. He replaces Adika Peter McNeely. Bruce Massey will get a rest for Saskatchewan. Rattler's ball out of bounds, 6.33 to go second quarter. Still a healthy Saskatchewan lead, although Edmonton chipping away at it in the last couple of minutes. Long inbounds pass for intended for Nuga. Out of bounds, good pick there by Jamal Jones, but stumbles into those court side seats. So ball will stay with Saskatchewan. Yeah, Edmonton stepping up the defensive intensity a little bit on the inbounds plays. It's led to good things for them here in the last couple of minutes. Michael Nuga once again has been good for Saskatchewan. Tough angle on that one. Can't get it to go. Jordy Chamanga with a tough look. He's able to finish. Yeah, he finished two and he had Marlon Johnson lurking around there for that for his patent behind, behind the play block. Saskatchewan fast break opportunity. Devontae Bandu can't get it to go. Ball stripped apparently cleanly. So back comes Edmonton. Wide open look for three for Marlon Johnson. Johnson buries it. Now coach Demopolis. And led to the fast break opportunity. Fast break three-pointer for Edmonton's Jordan Baker. You could see why Devontae wanted the foul there. Saskatchewan by 13. Struggling a little bit with the Edmonton pressure. Able to get it into the front court this time. Bandu looks down low for Jordy Chamanga. Jordy extends way up to grab that ball. Able to keep it alive. Goes up strong. Gets it to go. Again, Rattler's looking for the foul. But again, Jordy Chamanga doing a great job down low. Yeah, he's just gotten so much better down there. Staying yeah. composed. Early on in the year, he just kind of throw it up there, right? And uh, But now, it's just a love to see the way he's playing in there. Saskatchewan has led the entire way in this one. The lead has been as big as 21. Right now it's 15 for the Snakes. Looking to advance in the CEBL playoffs and end the reign of the Edmonton Stingers, two-time back-to-back CEBL champs. Rattlers win and the Stingers season is over. Good read there. Nice play. Trasan Burrell go on the run. Marlon Johnson all the way through. Unable to get the dunk, but does get the easy lay-in. Yeah, he moves so well. So you yeah. just watching him there come out of there and try to steal the ball. Like, yeah, he's such a such a good player that way. No doubt about it. 444 to go. Second quarter. Still 13 points in Saskatchewan lead. Bruce Massey on the exterior. Leads to the open take as Johnson gets green. Bruce Massey buries it for three. As you're talking about that there. I'm watching a little battle here between uh, Carr and Kamba here. Thomas is kind of face guarding him right now. It's really getting, <laughs> getting under Carr's skin. Johnson, another look from up high. Clark gets a hand on it, able to knock it back into his teammate. Or pardon me, that's Baker who got a hand on it. Jones kicks it outside. Open look for Kamba. That one no good. Loose ball ends up in the lap of Matthew Kamba. So the Stingers can reset. Down 16. Just over four minutes to go. Seven on the shot clock. Jones looking to drive. That pass gets disrupted. He gets it back. Gets it into the hands of Marlon Johnson. Marlon Johnson off the glass and in. And one. Yeah, he's having himself a nice little stretch here right now. Bringing the Stingers back in this one a little bit. 
Johnson now up to double digits. He's got 10 points on the night. Ooh, tough finish too on that one. Yeah. Saskatchewan fans know all about Marlon Johnson. He was a big part of that championship team back in 2019 for the Rattlers and has been great since joining Edmonton as well. He's pulled the Stingers back within 13. Just under four minutes to go second quarter of play. Bandu will pick up the dribble, gets it ahead to Tony Carr. Carr sees an opening. He takes it all the way, goes to the left hand, gets it to go off the glass. Much better job at attacking that press, right? Just kind of go through it. Yeah. Don't pass it back and forth over Marlon Johnson in the middle there, right? Attack to the outside, get to the middle, break that down. And man, when Tony Carr sees those openings, it's it can be magical to watch. Burrell unable to get it to go. We'll get a foul after the shot, I believe, against Devontae Bandu. Going to lead to free throws for Jordan Baker. Baker, as we mentioned, has been struggling with the injured leg, although he hasn't looked like it tonight. He's looked good. Fans here letting him know about it. Hasn't really piled up the points, and those are a couple of uncharacteristic free throws from Jordan Baker. Perhaps he is feeling some ill effects. He's played just about the entire way for Edmonton. But it's also getting back his wind, right? His stamina. Sure. He was out a few games, right? Trying to, have coming off an injury, right? So how much time did he have to um, kind of get back at his conditioning going? Jordy Chamunga attacks against Baker. He draws the foul as Baker ends up on the ground. Foul going to go against Adika Peter McNeely. His first. 3.06 to go second quarter. Rattlers by 15. Jordy Chamunga to the free throw line. Comes into the evening averaging 7.7 .7 points a game. 53% free throw shooter. Check out the CEBL Life podcast hosted by Danung Balsara. D speaks with some of the stars of our league on and off the court in music, basketball, art, and culture. Visit CEBL Plus, Spotify, and Apple Music to listen in. Tough trip to the free throw line for Jordi Chimunga. Peter McNeely snaps it down low for Baker. Good positioning, though, by Jordy Chamunga. Baker able to get it back. Chamunga gets, knocks it out, though, and lets Baker know about it. Stinger's able to keep it alive. Massey's injured. He yeah. limps his way over to the corner. Yeah, he's going to be done. You should have seen the way the collision happened there. Like his shoulder, it might be out of his out of the socket there. Just the way that collision went, I saw just saw the way that happened. His shoulder just moved quickly. So hopefully it's. Nothing too, too serious, but yeah, that was a pretty tough collision. In a world of hurt right now is Bruce Massey. He just limped off the floor and pretty much collapsed in the corner. So the training staff will attend to him. And another look at it here. I don't know if we could see it on that play. Did you see anything, Rob? Yeah, just it went by quick there, but yeah, right? Just the way that they knock shoulders there. And... So Rattlers will have to soldier on without Bruce Massey, at least for the time being. Tony Carr's sh shot a little bit off the mark. Back come the Stingers. Good defense there by Tony Carr to disrupt that pass. Mc Peter McNeely able to keep it alive for the Stingers. Long jumper, that one no good for Baker. Malik Ben Levy there for the rebound. Good job by Michael Nuga to get it into the front court as we hit the two minute mark here. Devontae Bandu, open look, loves that part of the court. Devontae Bandu! go that's your game right get these guys flying by you get your feet set knocking it down good find, good find there by Nuga lead back up to 16 for Saskatchewan Baker bounces down low good ball movement is Jason Burrell there to finish it off <laughs> this defense on the Rattlers are the jump is still jumping at Baker there he's missed so many shots before there and but great pass great look inside Minute and a half to go, first half of action from Saskatoon. Jordy Chamunga, open look from the top of the key. Oh. He hits it, nice, nice touch by the big man. That was nice, I was expecting him to go in, but wow, great little touch. Lead back to 16 for the Snakes. Burrell down low, does a good job to create the opening, gets the easy lay in. Yeah, had a little mismatch there, size-wise on Van Du. 
Nuga controls for Saskatchewan. Man, how how valuable has this guy been? Last few games for Saskatchewan. Michael Nuga, a real spark plug for the Rattlers. Good pass, Devontae Bandu looking for Jordy Chamunga. We're going to get a walk called against Chamunga. So over to the Stinger. Substitutions both sides. DeAndre Bernard going to come in for Saskatchewan. Brody Clark going to come in for Edmonton. But first year, right, the other guy who can facilitate for them as well. So, But we see these guys have been stepping up all year. Michael Nuga now is in the game here. He's bringing his energy. So at least he can bring that for Shirley on defensive end and then just get into the paint and, uh, and finding guys for open looks. Massey had 15 points in the last game, the victory over Montreal. Big battle on the loose ball there. DeAndre Bernard able to come away with the ball for Saskatchewan. 35 seconds to go, first half. Bandu likes to shoot from that spot. He's got Burrell out on him, so brings it back up high, picks up the dribble into the hands of Malik Ben-Levy. Ben-Levy spins his way through, attacks, and a poster! this yeah, year some yeah. sneaky he didn't think he's going up and he just throws it down great move shot clock off seven seconds to go first half oh. big battle for the loose ball Devonte bandu comes away with it picks up the dribble tries to get it into the corner for nuga goes out of bounds unfortunately so now one second showing on the clock for the engine singers stingers will we see a heave and a long shot for edmonton as these teams prepare to head to the locker room, it will be a half-court shot for Burrell. Oh. Gets the back of the rim, unable to get it to drop, and so close to execute, play well, and things are looking good for them so far. Just about ready to get going here in the third quarter of play in this play-in game. Edmonton down 16, begins the third with the ball. Adika Peter McNeely controls for the Stingers. Simon Hyatt, Rub Lovelace, Heather Morrison with the off-balance shot. That one won't drop. Tough look at it there for Matthew Kamba. So back comes Saskatchewan. Malik Ben-Levy controls. Got Tony Carr with him, hands it off to Tony up high. Just underway, third quarter play. Game one of a play-in doubleheader tonight in the Canadian League Basketball League. Turnover for Saskatchewan. McNeely able to finish it off on the run. Cuts the deficit to 14. Saskatchewan doesn't want to give Edmonton any momentum here coming out of the locker room. Saskatchewan is led by as many as 21. Devontae Bandu working his way through, gets it to go off the glass. Yeah, great finish there, and even going at the big man there, Marlon Johnson. Johnson from outside, swatted back, ends up back in the hands of Marlon Johnson. He looks to attack. He gets it over to Baker. Baker, a nice touch. His first field goal of the night here early going third quarter. Yeah, he's pumped. He's cheering back there saying, finally, <laughs> right? But yeah, you don't want to see him get going. 0 oh, for 7 shooting previously had Jordan Baker been. Sorry for the awkward sentence structure there. Tony Carr gets it back. Bandu thought about the shot from the corner. Gets it up high for Anthony Tiga Keeley and he started to stumble. He's going to be called for the traveling violation. Been a bit of a tough game for Anthony Tiga Keeley. Yeah, not shooting well, yeah, he's just kind of maybe, you know, young guy. You know, first big playoff game for him, right, playing. So a bit of nerves, but uh, yeah, just keep keep playing, young man. Just keep playing hard on D, and that uh, that will sell you in. He'll come out for the Rattlers. Dika Peter McNeely looking to attack. High shot off the glass. Great touch, Adika Peter McNeely. A good start here for the Stingers. Yeah. Michael Nuga back in for the Rattlers. He controls. Brings it around to the far side. Malik Ben-Levy now, nine on the shot clock. Tony Carr makes a move towards the basket. Off, awkward, off, balance, shot. I don't know how he got it to go, but Tony Carr can make some magic. Believe a delay of game warning here against Saskatchewan.
Dean Demopoulos talking to the fans along the sideline. Officials aren't giving him any satisfaction. Well, the, refs, or the fans concur with him. Yeah. That should have been a foul. Of course, Good to coach. find someone who agrees with yeah. you. It's coach, of course. <laughs> Lead back up to 14 for the Rattlers, 7.33 to go third quarter. McNeely will pick up the dribble, gets it in the hands of Baker, back to McNeely. He's got an open look for the jumper. Big follow, big dunk, Matthew Kamba. Yeah, he was up there waiting for that ball. Yeah, him. no kidding. He got up. Thought he was standing on a ladder waiting for that ball. Pulls Edmonton within a dozen. Bandu. Into the hands of Nuga. Now Carr. Now they'll get it into one of the bigs. Chamunga back up high. Malik Ben Levy thought about the shot. Open look. Michael Nuga from the top. That one's comes up short. Marlon Johnson there for the rebound. Good ball movement by Saskatchewan. Just doesn't lead to points. Johnson with the dish at the end. Offensive foul. Wow, good job there by Michael Nuga yeah. to stay in there. <laughs> he has seen that coming. Eyes lit up. Big Marlon Johnson <laughs> coming at you. But that way to hold a your... good feeling seeing that coming. Yeah. Stand tall, young man. Yes, well done. Lead remains 12 for Saskatchewan. 6.47 to go, third quarter. Winner advances in the playoffs. Loser sees their season come to an end. Carr, couple of dribbles between his legs. He'll pick it up, open look, long jumper, easy money, Tony Carr. Easy money, that, that's a tough shot for that angle. <laughs> that's a tough one, actually. Oh, a tough foul called. Michael Nuga thought he got all ball. Will be free throws for Saskatchewan. Get another look at it here. Might have gotten him with the body a little bit. No, and they're saying got him in the arm, and that was not the case. So, will be free throws for Adika Peter McNeely. Now, he and Coach Demopoulos can empathize as Nuga heads in the other direction, and Adika Peter, Adika Peter McNeely heads to the free throw line. Hits the front end to make it a 13-point game. CEBL Mobile brings the league's OTT platform, CEBL Plus, and more to mobile devices. Fans will be able to watch live games and have access to the league's on-demand video content. Download CEBL Mobile from your app store today. Lead back down to 12 for Saskatchewan. 6.15 to go, third quarter. Bandu controls. Way up high, Devante Bandu from deep. Wow. Matthew Combo looking for the answer. He can't finish it though. Back come the Rattlers. Nuga trying to spin his way free. Jordi Chamunga able to create just enough trouble there to get him into the front court. Now Nuga pulled back out. Needs someone to get it to, and we're going to get a tough foul here called against Clark. Pardon me, against Baker. Second foul of the game on Jordan, Jordan Baker. Yeah, Nuka just kind of got stuck over there when he picked up the dribble. Just enough of the body. Bandu. Malik Ben Levy looking to drive. He goes off the glass a little too strong on that left handed take. So back comes Edmonton. Burrell, no look pass down low. Baker can't finish. A couple of bodies go down hard, and we might have another Rattler injury as Jordy Chamunga down on the floor. Oh, no. See how he landed here on that as he was going, going at that, trying to get the block. Apparently the basket's going to count. Again, frustration for Coach Demopoulos. Baker. Ooh, I don't see the interference. Man, that's a tough call again against Saskatchewan. And of course, Jordy Chamunga takes the worst of it again. He's still down on the ground, being attended to by one of the trainers. Rattlers have already lost Bruce Massey. Chamunga back up to his feet. Big hand from the crowd here at the Snake Pit. So again, that basket was counted. Apparently, the call was interference on the shot. Brody Clark back in for Edmonton.
Discussion here continuing. Apparently someone's bleeding. It looks like it might be Jordan Baker. It is from his elbow. He tries to just wipe it on his uniform. They're going to tell him he has to come out of the game. He has a word with the official on his way out. Marlon Johnson will replace him. So reset the game situation. 5.31 to go, third quarter. Rattlers lead by 13, 60 to 47. In this play-in game, more pressure from Edmonton. This gave Saskatchewan some trouble here and unable to get it in bounds are the Rattlers. Malik Ben Levy, Tony Carr talking about it, and the Rattlers didn't really come back and help out Malik when that pressure developed. Yeah, this is where like, we talk about Rattlers getting in trouble when they are holding leads, right? They almost seem to <laughs> get out of their own flow, right? And let yep. teams back in too easy. Dika Peter McNeely looks down at his feet, takes a step backwards, puts up the three-pointer. Michael Nuga, big battle for the loose ball against Clark. And we're going to get a tie-up. Jump ball, possession arrow will favor the Saskatchewan Rattlers. Good hustle once again, though, by Michael Nuga getting way up in the air. Yeah, just get the ball in here, clear out. Now Edmonton will back off a little bit. Good to have a guy like Malik Ben Levy, a big that can handle the ball. Tony Carr attacks. Going to be a tie up once again. Again, Saskatchewan looking for the foul on that one. Will be Edmonton ball. Technical foul. Looks like maybe going to be called here. Or is it just a timeout? I think technical first and then a timeout. Gotcha. Okay. <laughs> Same signal, close enough. It's too close. He's, he's got to just walk away here right now. Tony, they need you. Walk away. Yeah, absolutely. And Bruce Massey comes out onto the floor. You can see he's got his arm bundled up underneath the t shirt, but he's out there helping his teammates get. Coming out of the media timeout, 60-47 to 47 is our score. A tough run here for the Rattlers. Let's send it down to our Heather Morrison. Yeah, absolutely. A tough night here, Simon. All right, so we've got Bruce Massey. He's definitely out for the game. I told you he couldn't lift his arm above his head. Well, now it's a full-on swing. He's still providing leadership for the team. Actually, a fan behind me yelling, good job, number 23. Keep them in the game. Jordy Chamonga looks like he's going to be coming back in. It's his left ankle that he came down on, rolled it. Uh, he's got it all wrapped up by the physio, but it looks like he's just put on a shoe here, and he's going to be back in the game, which is going to be great for them. He's been a, a leader on the court tonight. Absolutely. Good stuff. Thank you, Heather Morrison. Jordan Baker gets stuck down low. He passes up high. Leads to the open take from the corner. That one no good for Jones. Saskatchewan maintaining the 12-point lead following the free throw. Nuga back up to Carr. Rattlers will reset. Now Carr will look to attack. He gets it outside. Bandu a step to his left. He looked to kick it over to Tony Carr. Jones got a hand on it. Ball will stay with Saskatchewan. Yeah, I like the attempt there. Yeah. 12 on the shot clock for the Rattlers. 4.34 to go in the third quarter. This is Carr. He spins his way through, passes off for DeAndre Bernard. Clark going to be called for the foul, it looks like. It is Brody Clark. Third of the game on Brody Clark. Rattler's wondering if it's going to be a shooting foul. It looks like it will be, so DeAndre Bernard to the free throw line. Bernard averaging 4.1 points a game. Hits the front end. 66% free throw shooter on the season. Lead back up to 13. Saskatchewan has led the entire way. Long on the second attempt. Nuga gets a hand on it, though, and Tony Carr able to corral it near midcourt. So Saskatchewan with another chance. Carr directing traffic. Devon, DeAndre Bandu, pardon me, Devonte Bandu, running scoop shot. That one won't go. So back comes Edmonton. This is Baker, long jumper. His struggles continue. Malik Ben Levy there for the rebound. A little too aggressive down low is Jamal Jones. We'll get a foul called against Edmonton. Foul. 
Second of the game on Jones. 4.02 remaining, third quarter. Again, a lighter pressure this time from Edmonton. Nuga able to get it into the front court. Nuga looking to attack, carries it through, gets it back out for Ben Levy, back into the hands of Michael Nuga. He takes it all the way through, cradles the ball, can't get it to go, loose ball controlled by Edmonton. This is Jones ahead for McNeely. McNeely looking to attack, Carr got him with the body. Foul came before the shot. Kind of going back to this end here. Michael, Michael Nuga's doing there on this end, right? He's very being aggressive, and he's, he's getting to the paint, but I think other guys need to move with him as he's driving to that paint so he can find them. He's trying to challenge the bigger bigger man, Burrell, on him, but it's tough for him to get a shot off, so see if he can finally get some better looks for his teammates. Good news for the Snakes, as Heather Morrison alluded to. Jordy Chamunga checks back into the game, but three-pointer is the bad news from Tresan Burrell of Edmonton. Makes it a 10-point game. So Chamunga back in there following that ankle injury. A big collision there near midcourt. Adika Peter McNeely goes down hard. Offensive foul against Saskatchewan. Yeah, nothing going right now here for the Rattlers, no. right? So Chamunga comes back in the game. I feel like he's out of his flow now. That injury kind of took his flow out. Now he's coming in. And, you know, tough foul there. DeAndre Bernard going to check in. It will, will be Jordy Chamunga coming out. Chance for Edmonton to make it a single-digit deficit after trailing by as many as 21 in this one. Baker matched up against DeAndre Bernard. Spins his way through. Can't get it to go. Loose ball being batted around. Still batted around. Eventually, Devontae Bandu comes away with it for Saskatchewan. And then we'll get a foul call that looks like against Adika Peter McNeely. And that'll be the fifth of the quarter on Edmonton. Saskatchewan's going to be shooting. Baker out of the game. Marlon Johnson back in. Bandu heads to the free throw line. Get your official CEBL merchandise today, including headwear and official replica jerseys. Visit CEBL.ca slash shop and order now. Devontae Bandu to the free throw line. Second leading scorer on the night with 14 for Saskatchewan. Make it 15 as he hits the back end. Tony Carr continuing to lead the way for the Snakes with his 18 points. Jordy Chamunga with 12. Thankfully for the Rattlers, Chamunga still playing, although off the floor currently. Following that injury, they've already lost Bruce Massey tonight. Good ball movement leads to the open three. Nice touch. Adika Peter McNeely hits for three, and Edmonton within eight. Yeah, what a run Edmonton is going on here. So I guess they're staying composed with that championship mentality right now. Absolutely. Bandu looking for the answer. Wow, tough angle. Don't know how he hit that one. Long two from a tough spot for Bandu. Yeah, good answer. This is Clark. Matched up against Ben Levy. Ball out of bounds. Will stay with Edmonton. 15 on the shot clock. 2.13 to go. Third quarter. Rattlers by 10. Crowd here at the Snake Pit making a ton of noise. They've done all season long. This is Clark up high, snaps it down low for Johnson. Johnson turn around, nice move underneath. So Johnson pulls Edmonton within eight. Bandu gets the screen from Bernard. Carr up high for Saskatchewan. Under two to go, third quarter. Third quarter that's been all about the Edmonton Stingers as they look to get back into this one. Carr goes behind his back, looks to attack. Waits, waits, waits. Buzzer sounds. We'll get a foul called. Foul going to go against Adika Peter McNeely. Well, Tony Carr took that shot clock down as deep as he possibly could. Puts it up and draws the foul. Third foul on Adika Peter McNeely. Will send Tony Carr to the free throw line. He's not happy with that call there, but no. he did get a handle on it on that side there, I, I thought. But 
Sokar, as I mentioned moments ago, leading the way for Saskatchewan, as he's done really throughout the season. 18 points tonight. Leading scorer for the Rattlers. Possibly player of the year in the Canadian Elite Basketball League. Certainly he's got a good case for it. We'll find out when the awards are held next week. Carr hits the back end. Lead back up to nine for Saskatchewan. Time getting short, third quarter. In this crucial play-in game. Open look for three, won't go. We're going to get a foul called against DeAndre Bernard as he and Marlon Johnson were getting tangled up. Stingers in the bonus. So Marlon Johnson to the free throw line. Johnson misses the front end. 13 points on the night from Marlon. Trasan Burrell leading the way for the Stingers with his 14 points. They used to cheer for him here in Saskatoon, and now they're trying to disrupt his free throw shooting. Unable to do so on the second one. Anthony Tigakili in for Saskatchewan. Jones and Baker back in for Edmonton. 128 to go, third quarter. Eight point game. Tony Carr gets it into the front court, directing traffic all the way. Michael Nuga comes up to join him. Carr looking for the opening. We've seen times this season where he's just put this team on his back. Leek Ben Levy putting up the three pointer. That one no good. Baker there for the rebound. Third quarter, momentum firmly on the side of Edmonton. Great play once again, great hustle play. How many times have we said that about Michael Nuga in his short time as a Saskatchewan Rattler? Yeah, he was so quick and just fly around the court. Stingers outscoring Saskatchewan 22-14 here in the third. McNeely gets it back outside to Marlon Johnson Jr. He hands it back to McNeely, he'll pick up the dribble. Looking to drive was Matthew Kamba. He gets a shot to the head from Tony Carr on his way by. So reached in from behind. So that will send Kamba to the free throw line. Hits the front end. Kamba now up to six points on the night. He's his first free throw attempts. Short on the second. Carr there for the rebound. Lead down to seven for Saskatchewan as we approach the fourth and final quarter of play and of course the Elam ending. Carr draws the double team, probably would have been wiser to get rid of it there. He does get it back out high to Nuga. Now Tiga Keeley looking to get up in the air. Anthony Tiga Keeley, it's been a struggle for him tonight, but a huge play for the youngster there. Yeah, big timely bucket right there for him. Ready, stay with it. Had been 0 for 4 in shooting. All four of those shots coming from three-point land in the first half. But a big basket for two here and a chance to get the three the hard way as he heads to the free throw line. Bandu back into the game for Saskatchewan. Quick word here, I think some discussion about who that foul was actually on at the scorer's table. Okay. Now they've got it sorted out. So it will be Anthony Tigakili looking to complete the three-point play. 24.8 seconds to go, fourth quarter. He hits this, it's back to a double-digit Saskatchewan Rattlers lead. Tigakili completes the three-point play. <laughs> Again, shot clock, game clock virtually identical at this point. So we'll see, will Edmonton just try to work it down as low as they can and hold for that last shot? No, they're just running their offense. Clark down low, he draws the foul from behind. And we'll head to the free throw line. Foul gonna go against Malik Ben-Levy. First of the game on Malik. Marlon Johnson back in for Edmonton. Tony Carr back in for Saskatchewan as Tiki Keeley heads out. 
Brody Clark to the free throw line. Gets a friendly bounce on the first attempt. That gives him six points on the night. Marlon Johnson, Trissell, and Burrell continuing to lead the way for the Stingers. 14 points apiece. Stingers within eight, shot clock off. Plenty of time for Saskatchewan to dial something up here at the tail end of the third quarter. Now they may need to show a little bit of haste. Down to three seconds, Devontae Bandu gonna spin his way all the way through, can't get it to go. And so it will be 68-60, Saskatchewan holding on to a lead, but it's much slimmer than it once. You're watching the CBL Live on CBC Sports, CBC Gem, CBL Plus, and Next Level Sports in the United States. 10 minutes to go in Saskatoon. Who will continue their playoff journey? Whose season comes to an end? We'll find out over the next little while. Underway in the fourth quarter in Saskatoon. 68-60 our score. Saskatchewan Rattlers with the eight-point advantage. Good play there by Chamunga to keep the ball alive. Leads to the open take from the corner. DeAndre Bernard buries it. Yeah, great find there. Good balance on those creaky ankles of Chamunga. Able to stay <laughs> focused and get it over to Bernard in his, in his spot. McNeely up high. Baker comes to set the screen. McNeely a step to his left, draws the double team, looks to attack. Good defense by Saskatchewan. Ball out of bounds. Officials look at each other. Saskatchewan, Rattler's ball. <laughs> Burrell in. Clark out for Edmonton. Early going fourth quarter. Saskatchewan by 11. Simon Hyatt, Rob Lovelace, Heather Morrison with you for the final time this season. I think we said that last week too, but this time we mean it. <laughs> We know we're not coming back this year, but what a year it has been. Tony Carr off the mark on that high arcing three-point attempt. Back comes Edmonton. One minute played here in this fourth quarter. Great take. Adika, Peter, McNeely. Yeah, he's playing well. You know, he had uh, 10 points actually in that third quarter. Wow. Bandu picks up the dribble into the hands of Nuga. Back over to Bandu. He's got Baker on him. Down to eight on the shot clock. Bandu up into the air. Open look once again. DeAndre Bernard, three-pointer off the mark. Baker chases down the loose ball. Stingers within nine. Eight and a half to go. Baker to Johnson. Carr comes over to pick him up. Get a hand in the face. Baker there for the rebound. So a second chance for Edmonton as Adika Peter McNeely resets from up high. Chimanga comes over to help out. Can't find the angle off the glass, out of bounds, back to Saskatchewan. <laughs> Substitution, Malik Ben-Levy out of the game. Nice shift for DeAndre Bernard, he comes out. Saskatchewan by nine, the lead has been as many as 21 for the Snakes in this one, they've never trailed. Neither team got off to a really good start. Saskatchewan got it going first, though. Michael Nuga looking to add to the lead. He does. Michael Nuga, 4-3. He's got seven points on the night. Oh, big shot. Confidence right there. He's getting that pumped up from Bruce Mask in the sideline. He out him. Keep going, young man. That sling's not slowing him down. Comba. Nice pass. Baker. Easy lay in there as Kamba had drawn the double team. So back to a 10 point game. 7.35 remaining. Marching our way towards the Elam ending. This is Tony Carr drawing the double team. Tries to dish at the last second for Chamunga. Ball went off the foot for Baker. Of Baker, pardon me. So will remain Saskatchewan ball. Going to put 14 on the shot clock, following the football. Marlon Johnson out. Jones back in for Edmonton. Rattlers with the ball and the 10-point lead. Carr looking to get it in, able to bounce it in for Jordy Chamanga. He hands it right back to Tony. Bring it back up high. He's got Nuga with him. Ben Levy also up high. This lob down low for Jordy Chamunga. Down to four on the shot clock. Turnaround fall away shot. Gets the front of the rim. Loose ball. Good job by McNeely to keep it alive. 
He'll go on the run for Edmonton. He's going to stop and pop from up high. That one no good. Jordy Chamunga there for the rebound. He snaps it ahead for Bandu. Bandu will look to run. Edmonton a good job to get back on defense. Bandu looking to attack from the corner. Michael Nuga, 4-3! Keep it going, Michael Nuga. Playing big right now in place of Massey. Wow. Kamba looking to attack. Jordy Chamunga says not so fast. He does commit the foul, but again, Jordy doing a good job of not being too aggressive in this game. That's his third. He will come out as DeAndre Bernard hops up off the bench. Yeah, don't, want, don't, want, don't want him to get any more fouls yeah. here. Just want to try and get him into uh, to Elam. Kamba to the free throw line. We are officially on the road to Championship Weekend and are less than a week away. Can you believe it from those festivities? Getting started with the Awards Gala Wednesday night. Ticket packs on sale now. Get yours by going to cbl.ca slash championship weekend or by scanning that QR code on your screen. Come for the party. Stay for the games. Yeah, hard to believe. Next weekend, Championship Weekend, going to be a blast. It will be a party in Ottawa. Stingers within eight. Bandu helped out by Carr as he had lost the dribble. Tony bounces over. Nuga feeling it. He checked that one rims oh. out. Now Stingers on the run a little bit out of control. Ball out of bounds back over to Saskatchewan. And Jermaine Small not necessarily liking what he's seeing there. He's going to take a timeout. 12-point lead for the Saskatchewan. Wrap this one up. 12-point advantage for the Snakes coming out of the Edmonton timeout. Edmonton had certainly gained some momentum here, especially in the third quarter. But Saskatchewan getting it back. Bandu will pick up the dribble ahead for Malik Ben-Levy. He gets it back into the hands of Bandu. Bandu going to put it up from distance. Devontae! Big time shots, a big time player. 15 point Rattlers lead, 544 to go, just over a minute away from the Elam ending. Ball goes out of bounds off the side of the backboard. We'll stay with Edmonton. They have 11 seconds showing on the shot clock. This is Baker, Bernard with him. Jones will pick up the dribble, tries to get it up high, and Saskatchewan's going to get the ball back as too much on that pass intended for Tresson Burrell. Yeah, good defense there. Interesting as well, want to make mention of it. As we head towards the Elam ending for the playoff games, there is instant replay available in certain situations in the Elam ending only. Talk a little bit more about that. Elam ending about a minute and a half a game play away. Tony Carr for three. That one no good. So that's what an extra fancy screen is here Yeah, for, exactly. Hey? We got double monitor situation. We're like day traders today. <laughs> Monitors all over the place. Burrell will put it up for three. Nice touch. Tresson Burrell for three. Yeah, nice joke for him there. And you don't want to see him get going here this time. He's get out on the shooter. Pulls Edmonton within 12 as we hit the midpoint of this fourth quarter of play. Nuga. Back up high. This is Bandu. Down to five on the shot clock. Last second shot. Malik Ben Levy for three. <laughs> Great find. Great find by Bandu. And I love after he hits threes, right? He has that same swagger. Turnaround shot won't go for Clark. Will be a three-point potential play as he'll head to the free throw line. Yeah, tough one there. Just a little bit on his hand there. Just kind of just sort of stay straight up on that one. Matthew Kamba in. Jones out for Edmonton. Caught him on the elbow there. So Clark to the free throw line. Seven points on the night. It's been good from the free throw line. Now six of seven. The playoffs continue on Saturday as the first of two quarterfinal games tip off at 7 p.m. Eastern as the Niagara River Lions 
host the lowest remaining seed with a trip to Ottawa on the line. And Levy ends up on the floor. Quick take on the other end. Good answer. Matthew Comba bears the three-pointer. Back to a single-digit deficit. Next stoppage likely will be the Elam ending. Yeah, quit playing around with it here. Just get it over. Where's the guy in the middle? There you go. Rattlers would love to pad their score heading into the Elam ending. Right now it's a nine-point advantage. Tony Carr off the glass and in. Uh, great move there. We'll get the whistle that'll send us to the Elam ending. Need to climb to in order to win the game. Whoever gets there first gets the game, and they're going to win it on a basket, and that is what makes the Elam ending so exciting. Back to you, Simon. Thanks very much, Heather Morris. And as we alluded to a few minutes ago, a bit of a new wrinkle as well for the playoffs. Instant replay going to be available in certain situations, Rob. Yeah, that's right. Kind of the rules for it. Kind of going through quickly here. There are no coaches challenges though in the CBL. So the instant replay will only be used during Elam ending time. And there will only be one camera angle available. So as a result, certain reviewable plays will not provide indisputable evidence to overturn a call. And foul calls cannot be reviewed unless they occur away from the ball and the only reviews are related to when the foul occurred, not if they occurred. So interesting to see if that takes place. Yeah, I don't know that we're necessarily expecting to see it, but certainly good to know that it is available there. Devante Bandu gets the friendly roll. Ooh, tough runner, yeah. running hook. Wow. So Saskatchewan within seven points of the target score. Edmonton needs 20. There's the first two, so Edmonton needs 18. Nice touch there. And again, Jordan Baker doing all he can on that injured ankle. Jordy Chamunda, the float shot. <laughs> these guys with these shots right now. <laughs> a left hand hook floater from Bandu, and then a running floater by the big man Chaminga. Oh, man. Pulls Saskatchewan within five points. No good on the other end for Adika Peter McNeely. Munga comes down with the rebound. Michael Nuga gets it into the front court for Saskatchewan. This game had been all Saskatchewan pretty much in the first half of play. Pass down low for Chimunga. We get a foul, so a chance for a couple of free throws to chip away towards that target score. See, right now, I'm just loving like, the leadership of, yeah. of Tony Carr even right now on the floor. Just because the, the ball didn't get to him, he knows right now. Kamba's just face guarding him. So he's like, you know what? This young man, Nuga's playing well. I'll let him handle the ball. I'll take my guy away from the play and open up the spacing a bit more. So it's a great job there by the leader, Tony Carr. Absolutely. Jordy Chamunga goes one for two. That'll pull Saskatchewan within four points of that target. Let you know who we voted for. We can tell you that we're not, you and I aren't allowed to vote for Saskatchewan Rattlers players. That's just the way it is, and, the, and, and that makes sense. But uh, I, I like Tony Carr's MVP case heading into the awards next week. But the thing he cares most about, winning a CEBL championship. His Rattlers, four points away from making that happen. Matthew Comba's three-pointer gets the friendly bounce pulls them within 15 points of that target score again the clock is off in Elam ending you know it well by now if you've been with us at all this season the clock doesn't matter bounce pass down low perhaps ill-advised pass attempt there from Chamunga Dakar a couple of touch passes back and forth good defense though by Saskatchewan ball out of bounds officials look at each other going to stay with Edmonton who was in that play there? Michael Duga. Absolutely. Using his speed and his, his quickness to disrupt that play. Nuga up to 10 points on the night, but that only tells part of the story. He's been all over the place tonight. Nuga in just his seventh game as a Saskatchewan Rattler. He's made a real impression on these home fans. McNeely puts it up. That one won't go. Looks like there's a hand on the body there from Tony Carr, so it will lead to free throws for Deca Peter McNeely. 
fourth team foul for Saskatchewan. Rattler's hoping that's not going to matter. McNeely to the free throw line. Hits the front end. Pulls the Stingers within 14 points of the target score. Rattler's still just four points away as they look to advance. Coach Demopoulos making advantage of the stoppage in play to tell the officials what he thought about that foul call. Yeah, he just needs to let these guys kind of close it out, work on encouraging the guys to finish up. So we need to work the refs right now. <laughs> Carr controls. He looks to spin his way in. We'll get a foul call. Looks like Matthew Combo going to be called for it for Edmonton. Uh, Carr's so good with that. As he's dribbling, he goes to that spin move, kind of keeps the guy on the hip, and the guys are trying to reach around and get to him, but he can just hold you off. And if you make that run move, he's quick to spin the other way and uh, take it to the hoop. Second foul on Kamba, second team foul for Edmonton. 14 on the shot clock for the Snakes. Carr will pick up the dribble. Pardon me, he keeps it going. Chimanga down low, matched up against Marlon Johnson, muscles his way and hesitates. <laughs> Rattlers within two points of the target score. Just good patience. Like I said, he's growing so much. Burrell heaves up a three-pointer. Desperation time for Edmonton. Tony Carr gets contact there at midcourt. I think he was anticipating the foul call and ends up kind of landing out of bounds dejectedly. So ball back to Edmonton. Marlon Johnson wants one more highlight reel basket, perhaps as his season going to come to an end. Unless Edmonton can pull off a miracle comeback here late. Saskatchewan within two points of the target score. Malik Ben-Levy, Michael Nuga up high. Nuga's been great tonight. Tony Carr, the team MVP controls. Nuga with a chance to win it. No good. Battle for the loose ball. <laughs> Baker comes away with an outlet pass ahead for Kamba. Ah. Chance at a three-point play. Well, probably the one bad decision Michael Nuga has made tonight as he's given Edmonton a chance at a three-point play here. Yeah, I should have left him in that situation. Just leave him. Like, I know you've been playing great aggressive defense. That situation, though, let him score. Get it in. Get it back up the court here right away and, you know, quit messing around here, right? Guys, execute. I know they want to try and get Tony the, the ball here, the mismatch, but just come on, guys. Get back to playing your game. Finish this game off. Kamba finishes off the three-point play, but again, Saskatchewan just needs a basket. Two or three will win it, drawing the double team. Michael Nuga. Jordy Chamanga gets jammed by the rim and draws the foul. Well, if you remember back to game one of the regular season, remember, you weren't here for that one, no. I don't think, Rob, but Jordy Chamanga ended game one with a pair of free throws in Elam time. Wow. He might end this one with a pair of free throws. Free throw's not necessarily Jordy Chamunga's specialty, but he's got a chance to win it. It won't come on this trip. 53% free throw shooter on the season. I mean, he does everything else well. Don't necessarily expect your bigs to be great from the free throw line. Unable to hit either is Chamunga, so still two points away from the target score are the Snakes. Eight away are the Edmonton Stingers. A big block on the other end. Good defense by Saskatchewan. Talk about things you do well, and that's Chamunga doing yeah. what he does well is making big blocks. But this got to play some better defense here. McNeely's shot won't go. Loose ball controlled by Edmonton. They'll reset. Oh, Quick no. take for Burrell. Open look. Short on the three. Big dunk to finish it. Great, great put back by Kamba. Oh, my goodness. That was something. We've seen some great dunks tonight. Now, all of a sudden, Edmonton within six of the target score. Saskatchewan just needs a basket. Yeah, this is getting tight. Yeah. As close as it's been in quite some time. Ball nearly tipped out of bounds. Ends up in the lap of Malik Ben-Levy. Ben-Levy, 4-3. That one no good. Rushing it, guys. Rushing these shots. 
Ahead for Marlon Johnson. He'll pick up the dribble. Pass nearly thrown out of bounds. Great play by Matthew Kamba to extend way up and grab that one. He'll look to attack. Dishes for Baker. Back to Kamba. Back up high. Adika Peter McNeely for three. He hits three points away from the target score are the Edmonton Stingers trailing by one. What a comeback here. And Adika Peter McNeely has been playing great, right? So... Got to watch out for him. He's been knocking down some big shots. Edmonton comes out showing pressure. Saskatchewan has struggled with it a little bit tonight. Able to get the ball inbounded are the Snakes. Nuga gets it into the front court as Edmonton falls back. Carr almost loses the handle for it at midcourt. Carr looking to attack. He'll pick up the dribble. Goes to the corner for Ben Levy. Ben Levy loses his footing because he was fouled by Marlon Johnson. So now it's Malik Ben Levy. Pardon me, not free throws. Saskatchewan still not in the bonus situation. So Ben Levy to inbound. Fresh 14 for Saskatchewan on the shot clock. Game clock off in the Elam ending. Jordy Chamunga up high. He's got Tony Carr with him. Hands it off to Tony. And we'll get a foul called against Baker. Yeah, stay tough, Tony, here because they're trying to trap him anytime he goes to the hoop. And he's going to watch that, that spin of his too if he gets into that, that part of his game here. They're going to come try and trap. So hopefully he finds a guy and someone's got to knock it down. Again, the next foul will put Saskatchewan into the bonus situation. Now some controversy here, talking about the fouls. Apparently the fifth foul of the game. On Adika Peter McNeely. Big discussion here at the scorer's table. Again, we can go to instant replay in certain situations. I don't know if that would apply here. Edmonton can't believe it. They're irate yelling at the scorer's table. Trio of Edmonton Stingers over yelling at the officials at the scorer's table. <laughs> it is absolute. These guys has got to say like he's got he's got to make them right. So, but they're in the ref space here all over the court. And so Tony Carr with free throws. He hits them both. Saskatchewan advances. He hits the front end. Is there anyone you would rather have in this building taking this free throw, Rob? He has led this team the whole season. He hits this free throw. Saskatchewan wins.